Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Joanne. If you're already an existing subscriber, of course, welcome back and thank you for your support. Um, well, it's blooming freezing, isn't it? I've just came in, I've been to Aldi, I picked up a few little bits from the Christmas range, which I thought I would share with you. Um, I've also got some Sheen stuff to share with you. That's mostly home wear as well. Um, I did get some clothes, but I've put a couple away and the rest are getting sent back. I didn't like them, but I have got some home wear bits and some jewellery to share with you from Sheen and some Christmas bits from um, from Aldi. So without any further ado, we've got peaches here as well. You can see a little head. If, you, if you've not been to my channel before, this is my little toy poodle peaches. Um, so she's sitting quietly beside us. God, I think it's getting dark and dark. I, I'm sitting near the window so I can get the light, but it is getting dark. I saw apologies if it gets dark throughout this video. I'll try and be quick though. Right, without further ado, I'm going to jump in. First thing I picked up from Aldi was these cones and they're in gold. I've mentioned it in previous videos. In fact, you're probably sick of us banging on about it, but I'm adding gold to my Christmas range this year. So that's what I've been buying. So I'm just going to quickly get them out of the box and show you. I think I'm going to put these in the along the radiator cover in the hallway. Um, they actually come with batteries, which I'm quite impressed with. So they're just, they're, they're like gold. All right, they're all inside of each other. I'll have to untangle them. Two seconds, right. I'll just show you on the smallest one because that's probably easier to hold in front of the camera. So you get three in the box for £14.99. The battery operated, so the gold, I don't know if you can see, that's quite sparkly it's lovely you might not be able to see it there and they've just got like a white tip as though there's like snow on the top and do you know i really like that i think it's dead pretty um so all three have got the controls with them and like i say they come with batteries that's a first isn't it you can also put it on a timer setting so you can put it on so it's like i think it's off for 18 and comes on for six hours sort of thing um which is good so i'll just pop them on i think i'm going to put them in the rain along the radiator cover in the hallway and i think that'll look really nice so when the lights are off can you see they don't look the same sort of nice on camera but they are very pretty so i've got three of those i'm going to turn all the batteries on so i can show you properly i should probably insert a photo that might be better night now I just think they're really pretty i absolutely love them so i got those those were 14.99 right i'll turn all the batteries off 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 and off oh, i might put them in the corner of the of the living room as well on the windowsill i think that'll be nice depending on where i put my christmas tree i think i'm gonna put my christmas tree here Put this chair in the window. I think that's the plan anyway. I also picked up some of the Winter Lacura um, bath shower gels. So I bought all of the Winter ones because we'll use them over the next sort of six weeks. So I got the gingerbread latte one. These were all £2, one ninety nine, And honestly, they smell so good. So this gingerbread latte, we've got Winter Candy Apple. Let's have a little smell so nice love that one so that's like fresh smell the winter candy apple and then we've got winter cookies oh i, I think i like this one oh that smells nice and that's in the clear which is very aesthetically pleasing isn't it in the sort of just white and then we've got the gingerbread latte one so i've got three of those those were one pound 99 each because we didn't have any shower gel and um, i also got in the same range i got for my kitchen because i am doing the gingerbread theme in the kitchen which i've got everything out on the bench so that'll be my next video coming up and um, so i'm going to be doing my hot chocolate station i'm going to be dressing the kitchen all in gingerbreads and stuff like that i've got signs and I've got a little christmas tree in there everything's on the bench ready to put out and I've got loads of new additions to go on the hot chocolate station so I can't wait to do it 
anyway for the kitchen I got these so I got the hand wash which is the gingerbread latte and I also got the hand cream in gingerbread as well it's really nice really high 199 for all of them as well so 199 199 and the shower gels were 199 so I'm over the moon with them I picked up some food bits just to put in them we've got like a Christmas box that every time we go shopping we pick up something like nice something that we wouldn't normally buy and what every every day shopping and we'll put it into a Christmas box well we've got a big Christmas box in the cupboard and we'll just sort of put them in there and we don't sort of start eating them up until sort of like the week before Christmas so I got some of these almond and hazel Florent I think they're called Florentines um which are really nice and i think those were two pounds 49 um but i love these they're really nice that, that's what you get in the back and you see them all so nice so i've got a box of those i also picked up some nuts and these were also in the specialty range um and these ones are um chocolate orange fruit and nut can you see so they'll be very nice as well. And also from the same range, I bought some dark chocolate covered Brazil nuts. The light's not very good, is it? And those were $1.99 as well. And I also picked up some crisps, which I got the, the um, turkey and stuffing flavoured ones. Again, from the specialty range. Do you know what it is? I've actually got the Christmas book for what no I haven't I've got the, the month before for Aldi I am going to pick the Christmas one up but I've seen the Christmas range in Aldi and it, honestly the stuff is so nice it's beautiful and we got loads of it last year and I've also picked up the Marks and Spencer's Christmas and um, catalog as well and the food in there for all it is beautiful it's so expensive but is it any better than the specialty range from Aldi I don't think it is and if it does if it is a little bit nicer but like double the price it's still not worth it for me so I'll still be going for the specialty range from Aldi and um, I will pick up a couple of bits from um, Marks and Spencer's maybe but for now I'm definitely because of the price of live the cost of living I'll definitely be doing the majority of my food shopping Aldi and I think the stuff there is so good anyway that's pretty much everything from Aldi oh no I've got a makeup um as well I've got this is a dupe for the charlotte tilbury eyeshadow and this was three pounds 99 and it's the lacura quad um and it's just all the colors i use but i have got some makeup palettes and i tend to use just browns so they've pretty much gone and all the rest of the colors are still full but really that's all i need to do my eyes them colors um, maybe a slightly darker brown as well if I'm doing like a smoky eye or I could fill it in with a smoke grey but I just thought that was a lovely neutral tone palette I love the packaging as well and that was £3.99 right I'll now move over to Shein I've got quite a few little bits and bobs from Shein um, household stuff as well I've got loads of spices I bought my son because he's moving out so I've bought him the whole range of the Aldi spices so I bought one of everything for him. As I start, I'm doing like a starter pack as well for, for his kitchen. Anyway, I'm going to move over to Shane now and show you some of the bits I picked up from Shane. So the first things I got were these to go in the air fryer. But actually, do you know what is? I'm not even going to recommend these because I have read online that people are using these liners for the air fryer. And somebody had said it had gone on fire. So obviously you would have to use those at your own risk, but I bought some and I have used a couple of them and they've worked absolutely fine for me, but I couldn't recommend that out for you to use them for that reason. And I think for they were uh, for 50, they were £2.44, which is a good price. Um, so I will continue to use them cautiously, especially when I've got something heavy to sort of hold them down. I think if you've got something really light, then they could float up with the A and then that's when it could sort of create a fire. So I've got those. I also got one of these to put, because I like to do like a lot of bacon around Christmas time. And I didn't have one of these, and it's just one of the, the little sieve things to put like icing sugar on. And that was how much was that? Um, sorry, I did write everything down. This was one pound eighty-eight, and you just press that. Oh no, you press that to fill it, and then you just 
give a little shake over your muffins or whatever pound eighty-eight. I bought some of these to dress up for Christmas as well I got did I get three of these and they're just white twigs and I thought that they would be nice all in a vase or something like that or I might even stick them out of the tree because I'm doing like a white effect tree as well like quite a snowy tree um, so I will be I'll either use them as picks to come out of my tree or I'll put the, all three together in like a vase and maybe put some little gold baubles on them or something like that those were one pound 13 each I bought a cushion cover Christmas cushion cover which I'm not very happy about because I thought it was more gold and black and when it's come it might look gold and black there but that's more like a yellowy colour it does look gold and black on there and the writing actually looks more navy blue but I did went to, if I move peaches you sit there a minute peaches I did pick up another cushion when I was in the range a Christmas cushion instead and I thought this was far nicer obviously totally different price so, so it's like embroidered and it's like a silver and gold Christmas tree I think this was 9 99 from the range but that was only £1.50 and I did obviously want to use that one but I just didn't really like the colours and my oh peaches I nearly knocked you off the, so, the chair you lie behind us baby girl where are you going where are you going Go on, you go on the cushion behind. So yeah, so £1.50, but like I say, the colours are wrong. But I won't waste it. I think I might put it in the basket on the staircase. Um, Yeah, I might sort of, with a like, throw hanging out, and I might put that on. I picked up an apron. So I've got two aprons. The quality's not very good. But they were, like, what do I expect? They were, like, one, they were £2.7 pence each. So I've got a little gingerbread one to hang in the kitchen. It's cute. And that's just um, like the tartan with the um, Merry Christmas and it's just got the gingerbread on the front. So I got that for us to go in the kitchen and as a stock and fill up for my son, I got King of the Grill because he likes to barbecue. So I'm just going to put that in his stocking. I picked up some black tights which were thick black tights. They were £2.20. Um, I also picked up some gingerbread little ornaments that you have to string yourself and i'm going to put those on the tree in the kitchen they're dead cute they're all different they're not all different there's a few different kinds if i don't think they look very good on the kitchen i think i'll just put them on a bit a new bit of string and just use them as like bunting or something like that but they are quite cute so those the gingerbreads were three pounds and you get maybe about 15 in the pack i would say got those I picked up some little bags which were 50, 57p and those are also I'm going to be using on my hot chocolate station to put like um you know things that aren't in sort of wrappers like um the stirring spoons the chocolate stirring spoons I don't want to put them all together loose I want to put them sort of in the little bags and then I'll put a little bit of jute string around the top of them so I've got a pack of bags and like I say the one 50p I've got a couple of honey Bars or whatever they're called. I, I don't even know what they're called. I got two of those and the honeys, they were £1.13 for two of them. Sorry, £1.32 for two of those. I picked up some jewellery, some earrings, and these were cheapest chips as well. So those ones were 57p, which I think are quite nice. I'm going to pull them out so I can show you. They're like hoops, but they're like layer, three layers or something. And I know the tarnish, and they're all pretty much like disposable, but I think they're quite nice. So they're like three layers for 57p. So I've got those ones. I've got these ones, which were 97, but you actually get three pairs for 97p. Again, they're just hoops as well. But they're like, they've got a little bit of a pattern to them where the ones I prime mark for a pound are plain hoops. So I got those for 97. I also got these, which might be a bit, maybe if I was going on a Christmas night out, something like that. They're more of like a statement piece. But I think they would be nice if you were dressed up for Christmas, wouldn't they? Um, those ones were 57p. I also got these square ones again they're not just everyday earrings 
God, have you heard us? I'm, I'm talking as though they were like fortune or 57B. Um, but they're like the big squares, which I thought were quite nice as well. Again, 57. And there is another pair somewhere. Oh, I don't know where they are. Anyway, there was another pair, but they've obviously falling out the bag somewhere anyway guys that's the end of my haul um i hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do so and remember my next video is going to be christmas content it's going to be me decorating my my kitchen so i can't wait to do that i'm really excited um anyway have a lovely day and i'll catch you all soon